Good day everyone. Today we'll be discussing arterial blood collection. So what is an, an arterial puncture? So it is used to collect blood specimens for ABG. What is ABG? Arterial, arterial blood gas analysis to manage cardiopulmonary disorders and maintain acid-base balance of the body. So arterial blood is the ideal specimen for respiratory function evaluation. So what are the compositions of the arterial blood? So it is uniform throughout the body. So the test requiring arterial blood, um, blood gases, we have oxygen or carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and ammonia. So the ABG or the arterial blood gases, what is um, its components? What are the components? We have the um, partial pressure of the carbon dioxide, partial pressure of the oxygen, and we have the pH. So conditions requiring ABG measurements are metabolic disorders or those with metabolic diseases and respiratory diseases. So patients requiring blood gas analysis are often criti cri critically ill. So what are the components measured? First we have the PO2 or the partial pressure of oxygen. It measures the press pressure of oxygen dissolved in the blood. So the normal value of it is 75 to 100 mm mercury or mmHg. For the PCO2, it measures the pressure of carbon dioxide dissolved in the blood. The normal value is 35 to 45 mmHg. And the pH, it measures the acidity or alkalinity of the blood. The normal pH of the blood class is 7.35 to 7.45. So who are the persons performing arterial puncture? So those who have trainings, who have trainings, Trainings about complications associated with the arterial puncture, precautions taking, taken to ensure a safe procedure, and those we uh, those who have trainings for correct puncture technique and with supervised puncture performance. So the personals that can perform arterial punctures are physicians, nurses, medical laboratory scientists, respiratory therapists, emergency medical personals, and senior phlebotomists. But again, class, we are not advised to perform arterial puncture. Sino lang po yung advice na mag-perform ng arterial puncture? Um, respiratory therapists at saka syempre yung mga physicians. Kasi sila lang yung may training and hands-on activity regarding arterial puncture. So, sites of puncture, we have radial artery. It is the most preferred site. Femoral artery and brachial artery. So, kung order of preference... Um, di ba dun sa um, vein or venipuncture ay median cephalic basilic for arterial we have radial, brachial tapos sa kapang femoral so that's the picture of radial artery the brachial yung malapit sa may basilic vein so our Arteries used by the phlebotomist um, is the radial artery. So, bakit? It, um, the ulnar artery can provide a collateral circulation. Um, closeries and easily accessible siya. Pressure can be easily applied. Less chance ng hematoma. Very difficult to locate in patients with hypovolemia or low cardiac output. Ibig sabihin yung hindi ramdam yung pulso. Pag brachial naman, mas deeper siya near sa median nerve. License of tissue, tapos risk, mas malaki yung risk ng pain at nerve damage, at increase din yung risk of hematoma for me. Tapos, ang femoral artery naman, large siya, easily palpated, um, sometimes only sites where arterial sampling is possible, pero poor yung collateral circulation. Increase din ng circulation, bakit? Kasi mas malapit sa pubic hair. Tapos, risk of dislodging, plaque buildup, or plaque buildup from inner artery walls. So, why is the radial artery the puncture site of choice? Because nga, yung ulnar art artery can provide collateral circulation to the hand. It is close to the surface and easily compressed against the wrist ligament so that the pressure can be applied more effectively. Tapos, there is less chance nga of so, to be acceptable as a puncture site, dapat yung artery ay large enough enough to, to accept the 
at least 25 gauge needle located near the skin so hindi para hindi maging sobrang deep ng puncture site tapos walang injuries sur surrounding the tissue and located in an area where other arteries are present to supply blood in case the puncture artery is so what are the equipments we have this syringe yung syringe is pre anticoagulated tapos plastic and type niya is hypodermic and size is 1 2 5 ml based on instrumentation and test yung needle 20 to 25 gauge tapos 5 8 to 1.5 inches yung length Anti-coagulant for ABG, di ba? Heparin. So, dapat, prior dun sa collection, yung syringe mo, na-coat mo na ng heparin, um, more likely bef um, 30 minutes before the collection. So, glass syringes are used for tests longer than 30 minutes, lubricated and heparinized by the collector. So, dapat meron din siyang tightly fitting cup for syringes lower tip. Bakit? Kasi once na mag-test ka ng ABG, dapat ay advice na itutusok mo siya sa parang cork. Yung nasa taas ng na mga wine, yung pang sarado ng wine. Bakit? Kasi di ba ang tinetest nga is oxygen and carbon dioxide. So once may nakalabas na oxygen and carbon dioxide dun sa syringe, hindi na magiging accurate yung um, result nung test api. So, yung gauge na pwedeng gamitin nandun sa kabilang slide. So, additional supplies. We have crush ice slurry for longer than 30 minutes specimen. Isa siya dun sa mga dapat na naka chill or kumbaga chill yung specimen. Bakit? To maintain the sample integrity. Povidon iodine, chlorhexidine for site cleaning. Alcohol pads to remove iodine if needed. Tapos gauze and pressure dressing after mo ng collection. So local anesthetic prepared by the collector. So yung procedure, examination ng request form, lagi yun, collection of equipment and supply, tapos patient assessment. Steady state. So 20 to 30 minutes of receiving specified amount of oxygen and have refrained from exercise. So, it is the best time to collect arterial samples. Do not collect samples from agitated patients. Bakit? Kasi values may alter. Tapos, dapat yung patient relax with normal breathing for at least 5 minutes. So, important note, before blood is collected, you should perform the modified Allen test. Ano yun? It is used to determine whether the ulnar artery can provide collateral circulation to the hand after the radial artery procedure. So, ano yung collateral circulation? It is the alternative source of blood supply around a block artery or vein. Ganyan yun. So, papakita ko na lang sa inyo once na nag-zoom tayo kung paano ginagawa yung Allen's test. So, important um, note is the femoral artery is relatively large and easy to puncture but one must be especially careful in older individuals because it can bleed more than the radial and brachial artery. Kaya mas mahirap stop yung bleeding kasi mas mataas yung pressure. So important notes, um, major complications, pwedeng magkaroon ng thrombosis, hemorrhage, and possible infection. So unacceptable sites, irrita irritated, dematus or near a wound or yung near sa fistula. So, the amount of anticoagulant should be 0.05 ml liquid heparin for each millimeter of blood. Tandaan po yan class. So, modified Allen test to determine ulnar collateral circulation um, performed prior to arterial puncture. So, ito explain ko na lang pag tayo ay nag- Zoom sa 3. So, yan yung ginagawa. Parang yung dalawang artery mo dun sa yung radial at ulnar artery mo, ang um, pinipisil mo para ma-block mo yung blood flow. Tapos, ilang minutes, i release mo yung ulnar dun sa may ulnar artery mo. Tapos, once na nag na ulit yung kamay mo, ibig sabihin, um, pwede siya mag-compensate if ever man na ma-damage yung radial artery mo. 
So, preparing the site. So, higher use of infection. So, ang ginagamit is povidone iodine or chlorhexidine gluconate. Ini-air dry lang siya, hindi po siya hinihipan. So, nag inject din ng local anesthetic. So, lidocaine, just under the skin or surrounding tissue. Tapos, wait for the anesthetic effect 2 to 5 minutes. Tapos, saka pwedeng puture. So, relocating the artery. Um, cleanse finger, positioning the finger non-dominant directly over the site. Papakita ko na lang din sa inyo kung paano um, yung positioning ng fingers mo dun sa site. So, the puncture and depth lang is 5 to 10 millimeters. Ang angle is 30 to 45 degrees. Tapos yung hold the syringe like a dart. So, recommended um, angles or angles. For radial, we have 30 to 45 degrees. For brachial, we have 45 to 60. And for femoral, we have... So, appearance ng blood dapat ay bright red. Tapos, pulsation, blood enters the syringe without a help. So, pag na-try nyo mag-arterial, pero sana naman ay huwag. Pag tinusok nyo yun, kusang nataan yung nataas yung plunger. Bakit? Kasi meron nga siyang pulse or sariling pressure. So, removal of the needle. So, dapat after removal ng needle, merong application ng pressure yung phlebotomies for at least 5 minutes. Tapos, check for pulse sa radial artery. Bandage, pressure bandage. Tapos, discard supplies. Up. So, yan lang din yung sa arterial pump procedure. Yan yung ginagawa. Tapos, paano mo na-handle yung sample? Dapat within 30 minutes. Collected na in plastic syringe and not placed in directly in ice. So, if analyzed within 30 minutes, results are not affected. Pero pag um, samples are, cannot be analyzed within 30 minutes, it must be collected in a glass syringe and so, yan. Um, complications, we have hematoma. Anong cause? Increase ng pressure. So, dapat mag-apply ka ng pressure until magtapos yung bleeding. Nagkaroon ng gangrene. So, anong cause niya? Arteriospasm. So, nawawala na ng oxygen yung tissues. So, dapat ang prevention doon is to evaluate muna yung collateral circulation. So, we also have thrombus formation or irritation from A canula so dapat ini-evaluate din yung circulation hemorrhage meron yung patient pwedeng meron coagulation disorder so dapat increase pa din yung pressure tapos nerve damage bakit nagkakaroon ng nerve, nerve damage dahil siguro mas malalim yung puncture so dapat i-avoid yung deep side so bright red pag minsan di ba um pwedeng maaksidente na arterial pala yung na puncture mo. So, ano kulay makikita mo it's bright red tapos may pulso siya. So, dapat ang gagawin mo, dapat matagal yung pressure tapos do not perform arterial puncture just because you are unaccess unsuccessful with vene puncture. Yan yung lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo. So, sampling error. So, pag may air bubbles error yon tapos exceeded yung optimal time hindi na mix properly yung sample syringe was used improperly um, venous blood yung nakuha in base na arterial blood tapos hindi hepa rin yung nagamit na anticoagulant tapos hindi din in, incorrect din yung volume ng hepa rin na so yan lang tapos criteria for rejection for ABG merong air bubbles may clot hemolyze yung specimen um, walang label Yung temperature, di ba dapat nga naka, nasa slurry ice. Tapos, QNS or quantity not sufficient, kaunti. Tapos, sobrang tagal bago nakadating yung blood sa laboratory. At, maling type ng syringe yung ginamit.